came to realize something as I was thinking about the review for this sling camera bag. You know, I'm not proud of it, and it's kind of crazy because this bag kind of changed my view on what I actually need to make a video, not what I think I need. This bag was a reminder. You know, it helps simplify things for me, kind of clarify things. I have become a maximalist with all of my camera gear, but this bag kind of helped me minimalize things in my head. So when it's all stripped away, all the gear, all the accessories, what do I really need to make a good looking video? And that's what I put inside this PGY Tech sling camera bag. PGY Tech did send me the bag, but this is not a sponsored video. If you don't know me, my name is Caleb and I have a ton of Lumix camera content on this channel. If that's something you're interested in, as well as some other reviews, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when new videos come out. All right, here's some information about the PGY Tech One Mo 11 liter camera bag, camera sling bag. They did send me the 11 liter. There is a seven liter as well. So a little bit smaller than what you get here. And the price for the 11 liter comes in about $110 and the seven liter comes in around that 85 to $90 range. And it's got like a very thick strap on here. I mean, it's well padded and you have a few different loops here for some carabiners or other attachments. And the overall material feels like it will last in any type of weather. And so on the outside of the case, you have this strap right here if you wanna you know, attach it to a carry-on if you're traveling or anything like that. You have this pouch right here where you can put in a tripod if you have a little travel tripod. Or on the bottom as well, you can loosen up these straps and put your tripod there. Or even if you're gonna carry a gimbal with you or anything like that, you would be able to fit those types of things with these in these straps right here. One of the cool things about this outer piece on this bag is that it is actually a pouch. So you do have a little pouch in here if you need to add some extra accessories. If you have a camera strap or filters or anything that you would wanna to toss in this front pouch, it's kind of nice that this, this piece of it is a separate pouch. Then on the top of the bag, you actually have another little area where you can slide some filters. And this one has some of these like net pockets in here. So if you need to kind of keep some of your little straps or filters under control, you can kind of place them in this pouch so they're not going anywhere in these net pouches. And then on the back of the sling, because this is the 11 liter, this is expandable. So this kind of zips around and then it just makes it a little bit taller if you have some extra accessories or bigger lenses or anything like that. Then once we actually get into the bag, we have a bunch of different dividers that we can divide up the space depending on the lenses and cameras that we're carrying. But this right here is gonna be your main pocket. And it's there's a ton of space in there. You could fit a bigger lens in there if you need to carry like a 70 to 200 on a full frame camera. And then you do have like a little iPad or MacBook pouch that when you have it expanded, you might actually be able to fit your MacBook in here. And this is all padded on this inside here. So you know that, you know, between the outer layer and then the padding on the inside, you know your cameras and your lenses are gonna be protected and you don't have to worry about that if you're like moving the camera around or setting it down on different bus seats or anything like that. You also have an inside pocket built in to this flap and this is kind of cool because this is actually like a little battery storage area and so if you're going through batteries in here you actually have these little indicators this one is good to go if you switch it over use up battery change it to red you know that that battery's dead and you need to charge it now that we went through the bag i'm just going to show you what i toss in here okay i got everything loaded up in the one mo 11 liter PGY Tech camera sling bag. And remember, this helps me just kind of like simplify things, right? Like you don't need the monitor. You don't need side handles. You don't need the big V-mount battery to make great videos. Really just helps simplify, minimize things to where you can just focus on the shot that you need. You don't have to worry about all this other gear. Here's a breakdown of everything that I would carry in this bag if I were to take it out right now. So first of all, I do have it expanded. And you know what? I don't even think I would need it expanded. So I'm gonna zip that up just for a smaller form factor. And then in this very top pouch, I've got my SD card holder. So now in the main chamber, this is kind of what it looks like from the top. Let's see if you can see it. Oh yeah, that looks all right. 
So with these dividers, you can really separate these sections out. So what I would have in this 11 liter, because it would be kind of like an everyday carry setup, I would use the Lumix G9 II. And on here I have the Lumix 35 to 100 millimeter. And having a telephoto lens with you pretty much all the time does come in helpful. I know I was out shooting the other day and a bald eagle just flew right over us. I didn't have a telephoto lens on the camera. I wish I would have so that I could capture that bald eagle. So next I would carry another lens and this is the Lumix 12 to 35. This would be your basic like 24 to 70 millimeter, which is like just an all around good lens. So I've got basically a 24 to 70. This is a 12 to 35, but on the micro four thirds sensor would be the 24 to 70 and then a telephoto 35 to 100, which would be my 70 to 200 lens. So these two lenses right here, I can pretty much capture everything and I can fit them right here in this bag. So another thing I would carry would be some microphones and I'm actually using it right now, but this has a little case in here. This is the Hollyland Lark 150 and you can actually get some smaller, you know, portable mics, but even a box like this, fits with all this gear in here. And then I would also carry the Mavic Mini 3 Pro in it's super small, compact, lightweight, but I'd be able to carry that with me as well because you never know when you want to pop up a drone, right? So that'd be everything that I would have in this main chamber. And then of course, up top here, I would have my batteries knowing that they are ready to go because I've got it switched to green. And once I switch out a battery and it's dead, I switch it over to red and you know not to use that battery. Now we have the drone, right? But we need a controller to fly the drone. Well, you know where I snuck that thing? Right here in this front pouch. Fits perfectly in this front pouch. And I actually, this is probably one of my favorite parts about this bag is just this front pouch right here. You can fit this RC controller in that front pouch with plenty of other space for snacks because you definitely want food if you're out. And if I'm going out today, this is all I need to make really good videos, right? Sometimes I feel like I overpack for different trips or if I'm, you know, just going out of town for the weekend. Sometimes I feel like I need to take a monitor just in case, right? Just in case. Or I need to take my shotgun mic just in case. Or I need to take two cameras, one for each hand. But really all I need for a weekend away is right here and I can fit it in this bag. Now I've got a list of some of the things that I really like about this bag and I've also got a list of some things that I don't necessarily like, but then I'll also go over who I think this bag is for. But first we'll focus on some of the positives and this bag, like I said, helps me minimize my setup. And in a lot of ways, that's really refreshing. Knowing that I can fit all of this stuff in a little sling bag, toss it over my shoulder and I'm good to go. And so with less stuff, it makes for a lighter carry, right? So you don't have to lug around this huge, heavy backpack. You have what you need. It's light. It's easy to access everything in this bag, divide it up. And I know I keep saying this, but this bag just helps me focus on the essentials. Now there's a couple things with this bag that aren't my favorite. Like I don't necessarily think I'm going to be carrying my computer with me, like my MacBook with me, especially if you have like a 16 inch MacBook, it might be kind of a tight fit. And once you get some of these cameras and lenses in there, it kind of like compresses things to where you might not be able to slide that MacBook in there. Another thing too, is sometimes I just prefer a backpack, having the support on both arms rather than kind of going across your body. Now, if I'm just packing up to, you know, go for the weekend or something, I was just like tossing my clothes in there as well and not having to worry about a couple different bags. I can fit everything into a backpack camera bag. Which brings me to the next point is like, I don't know if I would take this on longer trips. I mean, it's great for shorter few days, but probably for longer trips, I don't think I would use this. I think I would probably use like a regular camera bag. I definitely think this bag is for anybody who wants just a minimal setup to take with you, but having a couple lens options in your camera with you every single day, I think this bag would be perfect for like an everyday carry setup. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this bag. Have you seen other sling bags like this? What are your thoughts on the sling style camera bag? Thank you PGY Tech for sending me the 11 liter one mo. I'm excited to get this bag in my workflow and see how it holds up over time. Now I do actually have an everyday carry camera bag setup video if you wanna check out, it's popping up on your screen right here. I go through everything that I carry on a daily basis, 
because you never know when you're going to have to like bust out the camera, right? So I will see you over on that video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you over there.